and yeah, I have an announcement to make about this, but uh, just a little background to set the stage. Um, I'm with the Regional District in Nanaimo, by the way, and have been involved in this for a while. But back in about, but actually in 2002, the province released the stormwater guidebook. Um, and the guidebook kind of advanced the premise that, that land development and watershed protection can be compatible. And, you know, at that time, almost 10 years ago now, that was kind of strange, strange thinking. Um, and it was a new way of thinking at the time. But the key to that thinking, and you've heard that mentioned here earlier, somebody mentioned, was designing with nature. <coughs> so thinking about design in terms of ways to enhance and protect uh, the natural environment and use the natural environment as part of your development strategies. And in my opinion, the key to applying that thinking is mindset. You know, we really, we needed to and we still need to change the way we think about land use and development. Um, the, the goal being to move toward thinking more of water, when we, a water-centric, I guess you would call it, thinking more water-centric development strategy when we're talking about land development. So there are there are a lot of people and there are organizations, as the list has gone, but there are several organizations that are moving toward that. They they bought into the, the shift in thinking uh, and they're promoting that way of thinking in, in terms of new land development. So following on the guidebook, um, recently there's been a new publication Again, but it's the, it's beyond the guidebook 2010 implementing a new culture for urban watershed protection and restoration in British Columbia <clears throat> so what this is really it's the story of convening for action for water sustainability and it's about kind of the new business as usual we have the tools we have the knowledge we know what to do on the ground it's just a matter of applying those things when we're talking about development and development opportunities. So I just wanted to, on behalf of the partners who were involved in this, um, sort of announce the, today is actually the official, official release of it, right? Today's the official release of this document. Um, and I'm going to mention, I just want to run down the list here of the partners who have collaborated and worked together under the Water Sustainability Action Plan of BC to, to produce this document and have been involved in, in a number of these uh, activities in the past. The partners are the BC Water and Waste Association Water Sustainability Committee. Uh, Glenn Brown is the chair of that committee. The Intergovernmental Partnership, uh, which is the, the gang that actually developed the water balance model. Ted Vanderbilt is the work with Ted, he's, he's chairman of that committee. The Green Infrastructure Partnership, uh, Raymond Fung is the chair of that. The Water Bucket Website Partnership, which is the water bucket and it's our window to the world, or the, the world's window to us, I guess. Uh, the Vancouver Island Coordinating Team, which is kind of, um, the lo I guess, the local government arm organization and Jay Bradley is the chair of that and then there's convening for action on Vancouver Island which is CAVI which is which I chair um, it's interesting convening for action on Vancouver Island CAVI is just the acronym um, the actual title of our group the full title of our group which we penned about uh, four or five years ago Kim I guess when we first formed is Convening for Action on Vancouver Island Leadership for Water Sustainability. That's the name of the group. So it fits very well in with this session today in terms of leadership BC. And finally, although not a um, not, not necessarily a, a partner per se, but uh, somebody that's involved in every one of these groups, uh, basically wrote this guidebook, this, this new guidebook, uh, and, and was co-authored to the uh, the original stormwater guidebook and has written a whole bunch of other documents and really is spark plug to keeping all these organizations moving forward as Kim speaks. He's, uh, he's everywhere and all the time and keeping us uh, interested in getting our work done. So a lot of uh, 
spread it to him. So that's all I had to say. I invite you to uh, go to the Water Bucket web website, learn a little bit more about the partners, all the partners, and certainly if you're interested, download the, the, the document. It's not something you're going to read over a cup of coffee. It might take you several cups of coffee, but it's pretty easy reading, and you can actually read it in sections or just pull out the sections that are of interest to you. So thanks very much.